an earlier episode, I made a video about how one would go about buying a Grand Seiko. In that video, I briefly touched upon various movements available to us from Grand Seiko, and how picking a type of caliber would greatly narrow down the watch selection process from the brand's extensive watch range. If you haven't seen that video, and you're interested to learn more about Grand Seiko, I highly advise you to go and watch that video after watching this one. And I'll place a link to that video in the description below. The Grand Seiko range of watch movements is just so complex. There's so many different types of calibers to learn about and pick from. With that said, I've taken all that Grand Seiko could throw at me, and condensed it into this super helpful and concise video which will hopefully help you understand what the differences between each of these movements is, and ultimately help you make the right decision when buying your Grand Seiko. In this video, I'll cover all the calibers from quartz, spring drive, mechanical, and high beat, both manual and automatic, basic three-hand movements to sophisticated calibers with complications. What I won't be doing, however, is go into deep technical details about specific engineering aspects, that achieve differences in power reserves and accuracy of a caliber. Some of those technical details are beyond the scope of this video. Instead, the focus will be on providing a broad understanding of the various Grand Seiko movements. So let's get right into it. The Grand Seiko calibers 4J51 and 4J52 are quartz movements and part of the 4J GS family of movements, which was introduced in 1996. The 4J51, a three-hand movement, currently unavailable in Grand Seiko watches, and the 4J52, with date, are both found on the smaller ladies' Grand Seiko quartz watches, starting with the reference STGF. And because it's a quartz, the accuracy is at 10 to minus 10 seconds per year. The Grand Seiko caliber 9F61, 62, 85, and 86 are all part of the 9F family of quartz movements introduced in 1997. The 9F61, a three-hand movement, and the 9F62, with date, can both be found in watches starting with the reference SBGX. The 9F85, like the 9F62, is a quartz three-hand movement with date function at the 3 o'clock. The 9F85 differs from the 62, where it has a time difference adjustment function that allows the hour hand to be adjusted without stopping the second's hand, and thus not having to compromise the high precision when the wearer changes time zones. The 9F85 can be found in Grand Seiko watches starting with the reference SBGP. The 9F86 is cut from the same cloth as the 85, but comes with the added GMT complication, and can be seen in watches with the reference SBGN. The 9F series are high quality and precise quartz calibers. The accuracy is at plus 10 to minus 10 seconds per year, compared to your typical run-of-the-mill quartz movement, rated at about 15 seconds per month. The Grand Seiko caliber 9S64 is a manual winding mechanical movement. It is part of the 9S family of movements and was introduced in 2011. The successor to the 9S54, the 9S64, a three-hand movement, has a better power reserve at about 72 hours, compared to the 50 hours on its predecessor. Beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and accuracy is at around plus 5 to minus 3 seconds per day. The 9S64 comes with 24 joules and can be found in watches starting with the reference SBGW. Similar to caliber 9S64, Caliber 9S63, also introduced in 2011, offers a small seconds hand at the 9 o'clock position, power reserve indicator at the 3 o'clock, and comes with 33 joules. This movement can be found in watches starting with the reference SBGK. The 9S27, introduced in 2019, not as accurate as the other manual winding automatics here, with plus 8 to minus 3 seconds per day, and comes with only 50 hours of power reserve is a slimmer version with a date function, and can be found in the ladies' watches starting with the reference STGK. The latest caliber to come from Grand Seiko is the 9SA4, a manual winding high beat mechanical movement that shares many of the same characteristics as the caliber 9SA5 that will be featured a bit later in this video. 
The just released 9SA4 is a 47 joule three hand movement, beats at a frequency of 36,000 vibrations per hour, and accurate to around plus 5 to minus 3 seconds per day, with a power reserve of 80 hours when fully wound, thanks to its highly efficient dual impulse escapement and two barrels. This movement can be found in the newly released watches, beginning with the reference SLGW. The Caliber 9S65, introduced in 2009, and the Caliber 9S68, introduced in 2017, are Grand Seiko automatic movements. They are similar in design to the first generation of 9S calibers, but offer enhanced performance. While the winding system of its predecessor, Caliber 9S55, used Grand Seiko's magic lever mechanism, Caliber 9 S65 and 68 use a reverse gear train system. They are both three hand movements with date function that operate at a frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Accuracy is at plus five to minus three seconds per day and power reserve at around 72 hours. And these 35 joule calibers could be found in watches starting with the reference SBGR. They differ in that the 9S68 caliber is a larger diameter mechanical movement, which makes possible a larger date window and placed in an overall larger watch. Caliber 9S66 introduced in 2010 and the successor to the 9S56 has all the performance of the most standard automatic movement of the 9S mechanical models, Caliber 9S65, but comes with the addition of the GMT function. Pulling the crown out by one notch enables the hour hand to be adjusted without stopping the minutes or seconds hands, so that the accuracy is not compromised. The Nun S66 can be found in watches starting with the reference SBGM. The challenge of making a high beat movement is one that only a few watchmakers choose to accept. With its higher oscillation rate of 10 beats per second, greater accuracy is achievable but this increased precision comes at a price. The faster rotational speed can take a toll on the power reserve and even the longevity of the whole movement. Grand Seiko's 9S85 high beat movement, unveiled in 2010, meets these challenges and delivers an accuracy at plus five to minus three seconds per day and an acceptable power reserve of 55 hours and the durability of which every Grand Seiko watch is renowned. This 37 joule three hand movement with date function can be found in watches starting with the reference SBGH. The 9S86, launched in 2014, delivers the same accuracy and the same power reserve as the core caliber 9S85, while also offering the GMT function. This movement can be found in watches beginning with the reference SBGJ. The caliber 9SA5 was born in 2020 with the aim to offer an increased power reserve. Grand Seiko accomplished the rare feat of both high frequency and the long power reserve with the 9SA5. This was achieved with the use of a brand new escapement called the dual impulse. The 9SA5, a 47 joule three hand movement with date function, has a power reserve of about 80 hours and beats at that high frequency, 36,000 vibrations per hour, and accurate to around plus five to minus three seconds per day. This movement can be found in the watches with the reference SLGH. In 2023, Grand Seiko's first mechanical chronograph, the Tensegraph, was born. The Caliber 9 SC5 is a high beat chronograph that symbolizes the next generation of Grand Seiko watchmaking. This 60 joule movement has a 72 hour power reserve, approximately three days even when the chronograph function is in operation, making it a 10-beat chronograph with the longest power reserve in the industry today. The Nan SC5 can be found in watches beginning with the reference SLGC. The 9R31, released in 2019, is a manual winding spring drive caliber. It has an innovative dual spring barrel that contains two mainsprings and delivers a power reserve of 72 hours and an accuracy of around plus to minus one second per day. This 30 joule three hand movement has a power reserve indicator visible through the transparent case back and can be seen in watches with the reference SBGY. In 2016 came the Caliber 9R01, a 56 joule movement with a full eight day power reserve, 192 hours 
and an accuracy of plus to minus 0.5 seconds per day, or plus or minus 10 seconds per month. To achieve this, the 9R01 incorporates a linked series of three barrels arranged in sequence, and the intermediate wheel has been removed to increase efficiency. The 9R02, released in 2019, is another manual wine spring drive caliber. It has two mainsprings set in parallel within a single barrel and uses the unique torque return system to deliver power reserve of 84 hours and an accuracy of around plus to minus 1 seconds per day or 10 seconds per month. This caliber comes with 39 joules. The 9R01 and 9R02 are three hand movements with a power reserve complication on the back and can be found in watches beginning with the reference SBGD. The 9R65, released in 2004, and 9R66 two years later, share the same base caliber with 30 joules, power reserve of 72 hours and accuracy of around plus to minus 15 seconds per month. Where the 9R65 comes with a date and power reserve complication only, the 9R66 comes with the extra dual time GMT function. Calibers 9R15 and 9R16 are specially adjusted 9R65 and 9R66 calibers respectively to deliver an even higher level of precision. The difference between them lies in the quartz crystal oscillator which delivers accurate electrical signals. The 9R15 and 9R16 are accurate to plus to minus 10 seconds a month. One thing to note is that the more accurate variants don't come with a date complication. The 9R65 and 9R15 can be found in watches beginning with the reference SBGA, while the 9R66 and 9R16 can be found in watches with the reference SBGE. The 9R86 introduced in 2007 and 9R96 in 2015 are spring-driven chronographs with 50 joules and power reserve of 72 hours. The 9R96 is specially adjusted to deliver higher precision and is accurate to plus to minus seconds per month, compared to the plus to minus 15 seconds per month on the 9R86. Both calibers have a power reserve indicator on the dial, dual time function with a 24 hour hand, quick correction function, and stopwatch function. They can be found in models with the SBGC letters. The 9RA5, released in 2020, and 9RA2, a year later, are the same base caliber with 38 joules. Accuracy is at plus to minus 10 seconds per month, and it utilizes the offset magic lever to reduce the movement's thickness by 0.8 millimeters. The dual barrels are of differing sizes, and are arranged to allow the expanding capacity while conserving space. This achieves a 120 hour power reserve. The 9RA2 comes with the power reserve indicator on the back, while the 9RA5 comes with the power reserve indicator on the front of the dial. Both have the date complication at the 3 o'clock and can be seen in Grand Seiko watches beginning with the reference SLGA. And that rounds it up for this video. Thanks for following along. If you liked the content and found it useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I wish you the best in your watch journey and I'll see you in the next one.